day. It's Wednesday, hump day, and I am just about to head back to work. I decided to do a later lunch today because today I want to go see a local event for Smash. So yesterday I randomly started looking at Facebook to see if there is a Smash group for San Diego and I found it, I requested to join, they accepted, and I saw that they do a weekly thing called Sink or Swim, S-Y-N-C, and they are hosting it on Thursday nights. Oh, it's Thursday, sorry, it's Thursday, not Wednesday, whoops. But it's tonight, it's right after work, it's at six, and then seven is when the bracket starts. It's basically a mini competition, and it's $5 to enter. I will not be competing, I don't plan on it at least, and I kind of just want to see what it's like. I want to see how good some of these people are and maybe network a little bit and see if <laughs> there might be people I can play with online if I get to know some people. So I have my controller and just in case, I'm going to charge it right now during my drive. There we go. But yeah, since I won't be coming home right after work, I wanted to come home later. That way I can let her out, walk her, and give her a shorter period of time. Instead of just making her do five to six hours, I'm home now and she will be in there for maybe four hours, five, if I'm having a good time there. But I am actually looking forward to this. The nice thing is that this location is very close to my work and it's apparently at a net cafe. I didn't realize those still existed or even had one around here so that's what i'm going to be doing later so earlier there was a little event at work around lunchtime where dell came by set up a truck and had all these computers desktops and laptops set up inside to probably advertise to all of the people that showed up and then there were also tacos afterwards but I went inside with my coworker. I looked at some stuff but the, the thing that I was most interested in was VR and they actually had it there so this was the very first time in my life I have ever tried out VR mainly because I still just don't have that much interest but after today it does seem pretty cool. I just think that maybe today was not the best day for me to try it because I was wearing my booties. So I think that extra elevation kind of made it a little bit hard for me to balance myself. The game that I was playing was a lightsaber one where it's like DDR, blocks come at you, you slice them in certain directions, you also have to use the correct hand to slice them with, and then sometimes there's blocks that come by that you have to dodge, so it was actually, it was pretty fun. I really don't see myself buying VR anytime soon because the games that I enjoy don't seem to mesh with VR well, like Dota and Artifact and Smash, those all require controllers and I mean I guess you can play a game like that on VR but I I just wanted to try it out today so I'm really happy that I did but not something I'm interested in anytime soon. So what I was trying to say earlier was that lately these past few days I've had this really annoying self-inflicted stress where I am trying to see which main I want to be in Smash or trying to practice things or just playing CPUs a bunch or I would play online but I don't think I'm approaching it correctly because right now I haven't actually been playing that much. I've been playing a fair amount but it's a weird balance between why am I training when I'm not trying to be a pro player of course, I like being good at stuff, so I think that's a very weird balance for me to have where I still want to enjoy the game, but at least right now, fighting games is something new for me, I would say, because I haven't played this type of game since Smash Melee, which was 18 years ago, I think. So whenever I would play online, I feel like I was playing and it wasn't the right way to do it because I haven't actually mastered 
hitboxes or movement. I feel like my movement is still just all over the place. So I would just be destroyed by some of these people. I would win some, but there were some where I was up a stock and I would still lose. And I feel like usually in those situations, that's just not good. Um, my rank online, they do it by global smash power, which is GSP. And mine is very low because I'm just losing a ton. I just noticed that losing a ton really does get to me mentally. That seems like an obvious thing to say, but I was definitely noticing a lot of frustration for me. And when it gets to that point, I would start thinking, why am I still playing it like this when it's not fun for me? Or am I really spending my time wisely? So it has been a bit of a challenge, but I do still think that I would really like to get good at the game or at least quite good because that's just the personality I have, I guess. Something that I would find very enjoyable with this game is if I found someone to constantly challenge and we would play against each other and improve that way. And maybe in some way, me attending this local Smash event is to network and find people that are helpful and willing and just good people to play with. I have no idea really, but aside from that, I would just like to go and see because I'm curious and I am wondering what the setup is going to be like, what the people there are going to be like. So I'm going to that after work. It's only three hours from now. Who knows? Maybe the smash thing will become something I decide to attend weekly. That would be kind of interesting. This feels like a socializing thing that people go through during college. I actually did go to a StarCraft club which is where I met one of my boyfriends, but that was short-lived because I didn't actually like StarCraft that much. I can't actually recall the exact reason I decided to go, but that was still a very unique time. So hopefully this got charged a fair amount. Now, I go inside. Hi, hello, sorry. Okay, I'm not gonna start off my videos or segments with hi anymore. I'll just jump right into it. So I'm in the car, I'm still in the parking lot area of the Smash event for tonight. It's being held at this GameSync Gaming Center and I arrived around 6.30, it's 7.30 now. So here are my thoughts. I was kind of surprised about the space. I was hoping that it would be a presentable, nice place because it's a net cafe. I was expecting it to just be complete, but I felt like I felt like we were in a warehouse. The ground was not presentable in I guess that's the best way to say it. It was just what you would feel going to Home Depot kind of thing. So that was very weird. It was a lot smaller than I expected. It felt like a narrow-ish hallway. And then there was a separate room that I didn't go into. And then there was the bathroom at the end of the hall, I guess you want to call it. And that's it. There were not many seats. I hate that. I really don't like going to places where you have to stand the whole time. So I've been standing for an hour, just kind of peering behind people's shoulders and looking and watching and it's cool to see people gather and have fun like this but another thing i tend to forget is that people smell and they come to events smelling so you smell that <laughs> and it's just very crowded there's people everywhere it's really hard to move and i'm short so Everywhere I go, it becomes very hard for me to see the monitor because there's almost always a taller person in front of me. But another thing that I did think was kind of interesting to kind of see in person, I saw a girl playing WoW. So me seeing her play in a 
it just felt weird seeing her play with me in person because I'm so used to WoW being an online thing where I'm just alone in my house. So when I see someone playing it and I'm standing there right behind her watching, I felt, I don't know how to describe it. It was just an interesting feeling. She was doing a dungeon and I don't think it, it was a myth of plus but because there was no timer, didn't have a number next to it, and she was playing a prot paladin. I did find it kind of interesting to see that she was a clicker and I haven't seen someone click in so so long and the surprising thing for me also was that I asked her I was like how long have you been playing and have you always played a prop paladin just general questions like that and she said that she has been playing since 2004 so it kind of blows my mind that she didn't learn about key bindings over 14 years. Let me just say, I'm not really trying to shit on her. I was just very surprised by it, but I thought it was very cool that she was playing it here. And it, as usual, freaking wow, always brings back a lot of nostalgia for me. So it was cool to see her play. I was very, very tempted to tell her about key bindings, but you know what? I feel like that's not my place to just be like, hey, you can play better if you use key bindings. I actually have not had bubble tea for five days now, and I think that's very good. But I need to learn balance, and balance includes not feeling like shit and not feeling guilty for having some bubble tea once in a while, as long as I maybe make it up by working extra hard with my workout today or I've been good in the sense that getting it every five days is pretty reasonable especially since these past few days or maybe up to a week now I've been eating very well I've been trying to snack every two hours I'm eating a lot of protein bars those RX bars I've been buying a lot of them and I'm eating them throughout the day I'm eating fruits solid fruits and eating my oatmeal just generally all my meals have been very good so I will not feel guilty about wanting bubble tea tonight especially because it's right there I feel like I just have to right so I'll do that I'm not really sure if I want to come back here because that's kind of another thing that bugged me which I do tend to realize that not everybody feels the same way in terms of punctuality it's 7.36 and I'm pretty sure they're only now just starting it and it's supposed to start at 7 so 30 minutes is a pretty big delay in my opinion but I was talking to Shane about it just now and he runs a hobby store so they have tournaments for I think magic and maybe other things there I'm not entirely sure but he was saying how it's very hard in these situations because when people want to register they're paying five dollars here so if you turn people away, you're turning away money. So you can't always just be like seven o'clock sharp. And if you come late, then you're out. So that's a loss for me because I don't feel like staying when I expected the tournament to start at seven and it's starting at 740. I didn't anticipate staying the whole night, but I was pretty excited about this aspect. So I was thinking if it was interesting and fun for me to spectate, I would stay quite long, but an hour might be decent. Oh, bumpers. It has been a very, very long time since I have ever came back an hour later than usual to my bumpers. I love it when she blinks her eyes. Is that weird? Especially when it's soft as if she just woke up. I can just tell. She has been napping. And now she is slowly letting that light in. Okay, okay. I let her out, and then it's time to train. Just gonna be doomed with that bottom part of my couch being like that because even if I fix it, the cats are gonna pull it down. I am getting ready to smash my dinner. An addition of broccoli this time because I had some left over from last week that I didn't cook yet. My bubble tea. Puppers will be my cheerleader. And then I got my controller, so I am ready to go. I have actually considered getting a capture card to record my gameplay. The first one I got is this crappy one. This one, honestly, I didn't expect great things out of. This was $80. I'm going to return it. 
but as you can see it's just a simple USB to HDMI so what it told me to do was to connect my HDMI from switch to this and then plug this into my computer this requires a USB 3.0 port which I'm quite sure my computer has but it wasn't detecting the video output I would find this device through the capture card device option of OBS Studio but it just wouldn't show anything, it was just black okay hopefully this works better sorry for making you stare at the box but my dilemma is that I would love to record gameplay for Smash, right? I was thinking it would be cool if I do take it seriously to get better to record my progress and transition and my adventure or whatever you want to call it but I these past few days have been a weird dynamic for me for Smash because this is a very new genre of game for me so what I'm experiencing is sucky on my end emotionally where I definitely am not good enough to play online yet because I'm just mashing my buttons, I'm not doing things well, so I'm losing a lot, right? And when you lose a lot, you feel terrible, so I was feeling awful, feeling frustrated, feeling stressed out, all those bad things, and I also have anxiety queuing against people like I do in Artifact, so it's a mixture of that and I just wasn't feeling very good so I just was thinking you know why am I going through all this negative feeling I should try to play for fun and why am I training in Smash when I'm not intending to go pro at all but that might just be the appeal for me when it comes to games I like the process of wanting to improve and get better so even if it might be frustrating or stressful in the beginning I think those are all things I need to learn to get over because in a game like Smash where the games are very short, it's just three to two stocks when you're doing solo queue online, I need to learn to just brush off the defeat and try to improve and get better or just laugh at my own mistakes, you know? These people must have like decades advantage over me as well. I'm imagining most of these people that are playing online probably kept playing since Melee. I haven't played since then, which was 18 years ago, so it's natural for me to suck compared to these people and even though I know certain mechanics I need to practice them more in training so I can replicate them with ease instead of thinking too hard you know knowing how to counter certain things and knowing which hitboxes are furthest or whatever that's my ramble and I do think I really would like to see how good I could get if I try to master certain techniques I'll try that and we'll see where that goes hello good Afternoon. It's 12.41. I was about to say good morning, but I woke up at around 11 and today I wanted to check out another local Smash tournament. Conveniently right by my house actually. I was really excited about that. So I already talked about how I wasn't too fond of the one that I went to on Thursday. So I actually am really hoping that this one is going to be different. I kind of get the feeling it is because the place that it's being held is called TC's Rockets, which makes me think maybe it's some sort of hobby store perhaps because Shane owns a hobby store and these are the types of things that I can imagine him selling. So I think it might be very similar to that. and. I've seen pictures of the store interior just from researching and looking this event up so it looks very promising and it has freaking carpet on the ground it has shelves it has normal looking stuff so I think it should be good maybe I'm just intimidated in participating in stuff with strangers unless I know I'm good so for example they tend to play friendly matches an hour before the brackets actually start for these little tournaments and I would actually like to play in these friendly matches because it's good practice and I would be curious to see the skill level, varying skill level I'd say, and I think maybe it would help make me feel more confident to just casually play these games if I see that there's other people that aren't that good just playing for fun, right? The thing is, I might just have this bad idea that the better people will look down upon the people with less skill, but I really don't think that's the case. It would be nice to get some practice and I'm pretty sure if I actually 
played some games and interacted with people more, I could possibly meet good people to play with online to help practice against and stuff like that. Because for now, I think I lack a lot of confidence, which might not be a good thing because I wouldn't say I'm terrible. I tell people I'm terrible, but I say that because I wouldn't feel comfortable and confident in saying I'm good until I know I'm good and feel like I am good. And I feel like one of those indicators or things to help reinforce how I feel about my own skill is making Elite Smash. It's basically a matchmaking thing online that you get access to once you reach a certain global smash power. It's just similar to matchmaking where it's a number you gain when you win, lose when you lose, and I haven't been playing much online because I don't really know if it's good for me to spam queue online when I don't feel like I've mastered all of the parts yet. But there's other aspects that I'm not as good at, like shielding. I I'm so bad at shielding, it's just not something I am instinctively doing yet and it's just something that I will have to take a while to get used to I think because when I watch some of these better people play, their shield reaction is so quick and that's kind of something I need to get used to, especially for characters with projectiles that come out pretty fast. Even if you're like right pretty close to them, you can probably still shield it in time if you recognize the movement that they're about to do and know that the projectile is coming. Anyways, I am going to probably head out to this event in 30 minutes or something. I was thinking of picking up some bubble tea and then heading over. That way I have something to entertain me <laughs> in case it's actually boring there. It's so weird, honestly, because I'm sure this is super casual for extroverted people to do, but the fact that I'm going to these Smash events still really shocks me. I don't know, it feels like I'm doing extra effort more than I would normally do because I don't ever go to events. I don't ever go to gatherings of similar hobby likes, you know? I'm always by myself. I don't ever, I, I just don't do stuff like this. So the fact that I am really does surprise me. But at the same time, I'm actually going to these things interested in meeting people that play this because the unfortunate thing about Smash is that I don't really like to rely on online play to get better because of the lag. Their online play is just not that great. So if I were to have someone in person that was equally good or much better, much better would be better <laughs> to play against over and over and over and over. That would be great practice and I still think that would be a lot of fun. I am going to eat my lunch salad from Outback. Yesterday I ordered my steak and it comes with a side salad and I tend to, I like the salad that they give you, especially the dressing that it comes with. So I will eat this now and then I will get changed and go. <laughs> I am about to head out to my event and I got a very surprising request earlier today. So in Dota, there is something every Saturday called the Battle Cup and I honestly never really knew what it got you except it puts a little trophy next to your profile name or something and I've always liked the idea of doing it, I just never had people to do it with. Or the only way I would play it is if people would ask me, which most people don't because I don't have many people that really ask me to play anymore or in the past I would kind of filter on my friends list. I met a lot of people on Dota because of my ex-boyfriend because he plays at a pretty high level of Dota and that was great for me because I never played solo queue. so. I met them through him and they actually usually think I'm pretty good. So anyways, this person would randomly start inviting me to Dota and since I never get to play, I would accept because I'm excited to play Dota always. And there was this one game where I don't know what happened, if he lost mid or something, but he started feeding like ridiculous and I just removed him off my friends list right after that game because what the fuck, I can't believe people still do that behavior in this day and age and I'm not gonna deal with that. What I originally meant to say is that somebody that's actually very good at Dota 
he was someone that I talked to quite a bit a, a few years ago, but he was always kind of an asshole. He was a really 50-50 personality where sometimes he's cool and he would talk to me about personal stuff and I like being that kind of listener, but he was just really cocky and arrogant. He is very good at Dota. He's like top 100, probably top 50 US leaderboards. So he's definitely very good and I respect his skill for sure, but he was just a dick at times and there were traits of his personality I just didn't like. So I stopped talking to him several years now and I don't play Dota much anymore. So I was really surprised when earlier he asked me if I wanted to do Battle Cup tonight because I'm thinking, you're a really good player. You must have a ton of people that you could ask to do Battle Cup with. Why are you asking me when I haven't played Dota in months? I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be home around that time anyways. It's in roughly four hours. So I, I don't even see myself being at the Smash event for more than two hours. So I'll definitely be here. And if it doesn't happen, it's whatever. I am going to go get some bubble tea first. Although is that really the best idea? Because <laughs> oh well. <laughs> Look at this lovely bathroom, guys. Comics on the walls. I am on my way home, almost home actually. So I really like the fact that this place is so close to my house. I think it's less than 10 minutes and it's about 4.10. I need to go home because I would like to walk Riley before Battle Cup. Battle Cup is at 4.50 and I need, I need to be online by then. And maybe it would suck if I came home for that and it didn't happen because I wouldn't have minded staying there longer. The great thing about this event was the venue or the store was so much bigger than the last one. I feel like it was 10 times bigger, something like that. Like they had a whole, ooh, sometimes bubble tea makes me very burpy, but they had this whole front section filled with comics, action figures, Funko Pops. There was so much space for that. And then the second half of the store was all tables and it was just so spacious, so much better than the last one. I don't see myself going to the other one again because that place just sucks, but it had double the entrance. So today, I think there were 40 people that signed up. On Thursday, I think it was 92 that they posted on Facebook. So that is a drastic difference. I'm a little surprised that more people don't go to this one, or maybe they do. They just didn't think that it was still happening. Apparently today, the guy that normally hosts it, he's out of town, so somebody else volunteered to help do it. So possibly some people just thought it wasn't happening and didn't show up because I think today's event is way better than the last event. I might actually come to this one on a weekly basis because I actually played some today and the only reason that happened was because this guy came up to me and started talking to me and he was actually pretty cool. He asked me to play some doubles on one of the consoles, so I was like, sure. I actually need that push from someone else, I think, to play in public like that. So I did play, and we lost most of them, and we I'd say we lost three and then won one, but there's still so much I need to learn. There's a lot of mechanics I'm still not implementing into my gameplay. I am currently relying on dodging too much, Dodging isn't a bad thing, but it's a little bit slower than if you were to just shield and then release and counterattack something. So, stuff to practice on. And doubles can also get really confusing. I think the first two matches, I jumped off the stage because I couldn't tell which character I was or I got confused or I don't know, stupid reasons because I'm just not used to it. 
I just have this weird condition where my heart rate goes up so high. So after the first match, my heart was pounding, but then it went down after a while. I'm really glad I played today because I feel like that's one thing that I'm just not good at doing, asserting myself in a room full of strangers where there would be switch consoles set up at tables or people were in the process of setting up and people just go up to them and sit down and ask to play and I've never been that type of person so I got there really early way earlier than everybody else there was no console set up at the time when I first got there so nice to get some games in and maybe after more practice I could actually see myself signing up because there's so much varying skill levels obviously and I shouldn't feel shy to just try to play and see how far I can get and that could be a good indicator to see if I'm improving and stuff. Still scary to do that. I've never taken the step to just sign up for a tournament, even a small local one. So, okay, 4.13, I will walk my puppers.